All right, so we're going to go through clause 8.2.6, enclosure within a structure. Uh, this is from the B149.1 natural gas and propane installation code. So what we're going to start with is a structure, and could be anything. The best thing to think about maybe is like something like a warehouse. And in this particular situation or this particular clause, it only works with this scenario. One is we have to have a low volume installation. And what that means is the combined inputs of all the appliances that are going to be within this enclosure have to be less than 400,000. Okay. Now, the second thing is it has to be a leaky structure. And what that means is it doesn't comply to clause 821A or B. Right? And that's from the code book as well. So basically it's saying it's not airtight, it's leaky, there's air that can come from outside the structure into the structure. All right. And once again, another part of this is that the volume of the structure is able to handle any air requirements, which means that if there's any appliances in there, it, the structure is leaky enough that enough air can get in to feed those appliances the air they need to work. All right. Now, we're just going to say in our case that it's 15,000 cubic feet, this particular structure, and we have a couple appliances. You can see that there are 100,000 BTUs each, and each of them has a draft hood, and that's important. That'll come into play a little later in the, uh, in the video. Now, if we were to just size the, say, opening in the wall that you might need in order to feed these, we would go off of table 8.3. And what we would do, you'd see that 8.3 is for low volume, a leaky structure with draft control. You have 15,000 cubic feet and 200,000 BTUs. And you don't need any extra openings, and that's part of the whole clause. This structure has to be able to handle these two appliances or there's enough air coming in just through the leaks and cracks and so on and so forth. So what we have is air from outside to inside. There's more than enough. We don't need to add an extra opening anywhere. So that's the basis. That's kind of the starting point of this. Now, what we have here, this guy, this is Hanford. Hanford now owns the building. And what happens along comes a guy by the name of Mike. Mike wants to buy this building and Hanford agrees. So Mike gives him some money. Goodbye Hanford. Now Mike's thinking, you know what, there's these two appliances in the middle of this warehouse. I don't really like the look of them. I want to have them hidden. Maybe I'll build an enclosure around them. Okay. So he goes and he does that. Now, we get back to Mike. So now he's thinking, he's saying, well, we had air from the outside to the inside before, that's great. But because we've been put this enclosure around the two appliances, where's the air coming from outside to inside into there? We've got ourselves an issue. And he's right, there is an issue. And that's where the clause comes into play. So, a couple things. This is how you size that opening. The opening shall be one square inch per thousand BTUs. So for every 1,000 BTUs you have inside that enclosure, you need one square inch of opening, combustion free area opening. And the other thing is that opening has to be located not more than 18 inches or less than six inches above floor level. So near the floor basically. So if we were to do a calculation, okay, once again it's called our combustion free area opening, you would take the total input divided by 1,000 BTUs per inch squared, because that's how much we need. So you'd go 200,000 divided by 1,000, and what we'd end up with is 200 square inches. That's going to be the size of that opening down there. So far, so good. Now, there is a second part to this clause as well, and that says, if one or more appliances have draft control, which we do, then an additional opening shall be supplied. Now the idea is this. The products of combustion are supposed to go up the vent and the draft hood itself allows in dilution air. Now, if there's a scenario where the products of combustion end up coming down the vent, maybe a downdraft or something like that, the draft hood, what it does is it allows the products of combustion to spill or we get flue gas spillage. It prevents the flue gas from going back onto the burner and maybe stifling the burner. Okay? So, 
we get that flue gauge glass spillage. That's a problem. What we need is that additional opening. And it's the same size as the combustion free air opening down below. So we get another opening. What that'll do is create a nice little convection current within that whole system and take those products and combustion out. And because the structure is leaky, it'll take those out of the whole structure as well. There you have it. There's clause 826.